Not good I can show you, but there's cattle trucks. This is right by my house. I've heard them running all night long. I'm not dropping, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's kind of cool how many there are. Several there. If I can get on around this, uh, they're fixing to ship out wheat pasture cattle that's been grazing all, all winter. trucks all all over here it's pretty cool time of year it's harvest uh, I got a car coming over here there's several there I can't see them here now but just a second we'll see them down here by the co-op it's crazy how many how many trucks there are like that you know how much how, how many cattle are they shipping out look at that it's a solid line. Those are double trucks over there. Double trucks there. Trucks there. <laughs> That's a huge in there. Got big old triple axles. Lit up, ain't they? Look at all the trucks down here. Trucks all down there. That's double. A lot of that's double trucks. Trucks all parked down here. Yep. It's uh almost six o'clock. I got to get to the pig woods. Guys, there's a hog. If I can get my finger in this camera. He's right out there somewhere now. I've seen him. That is like probably over a quarter of a mile over there. And he looked huge from here. You can just see his old back sticking up out of them old tall, that old tall grass. That, that gets a big old tall Johnson grass field and stuff out there. Get my finger out of there and let it focus a little bit. I can't see him now. Anyway, as usual, I messed up and I didn't record this whole deal. But I've got this old girl and these two little guys that I just caught. She's a pretty little old sow. And we got this trap baby. Look at all these little flies or whatever they are. My gosh, these things are everywhere down here. It's like swarming. It's kind of foggy this morning. You know, I wish I could get y'all to see that. That old boy. But there was two, and it may be one of them. But I think this one's bigger. Cause, and he's by himself. But there's two great big boars come across the road right at, right at the top edge of that hill. And right over that little hill, between two hills, is where I got that trap that failed yesterday. And they didn't come back last night. So anyway, man. And right inside this gate is where I caught the biggest hog I've ever trapped in my life. And he jumped out of a five foot trap. And uh, I've never seen him since. But, but right down this road, and you go to that next intersection and turn left, one come across the road right there one night we were hunting with dogs and uh my father-in-law my father-in-law he was driving and i was half asleep we was just coming in for the night it was late at night and uh he started going big pig big pig <laughs> and he never gets excited he's seen so many hogs let me shut this gate here real quick but that that pig he was as tall as the rack on the front of the pickup, which was probably probably about waist high to me. And uh, he said he was as, pretty much as long as the pickup was wide when he came across the road. Said he, he was just huge. And our dogs stopped him three times down in here, but they never did catch him. And I don't know if that's the one that I caught in that trap or not, because that was all around the same time. 
probably within you know several days or weeks of when I set that trap or, or you know before or after I don't really remember but anyway that was a huge pig and uh, you know for dogs not to be able to stop them for very long Man, I just can't believe they didn't come back to that last night. Meanwhile, and this is that road that was all rooted up down there behind me as well. And where the, and look, you've seen the video where the hogs was running down the wheat field. This is the same road where they crossed the road in front of me. So there's still a bunch of pigs down here. We've caught a bunch out of here. Last I remember counting was 50 something and I've caught caught several since then we're probably I'm, I'm gonna guess we're probably at 55 to 60 out of this spot and there's still some pretty good groups in here then then with some really nice boards that come across in front of me and that one that's walking across that field down there is a, a bruiser I'm gonna say he's a 200 plus I bet It's just, it's just kind of crazy looking this morning. It's hoping they have time to go dump these off, but I'll have to dump them off on my break or something. See if I can show you this shot this morning. So that all them cattle trucks and this wheat harvest time, and there's harvesters down, and uh, there's a big old wheat field. The cow, it's just kind of got a haze and a fog everywhere. Uh, man, back off out in there. There's a there's a pond and a big ditch and slough down in there, and I've caught tons of pigs out of there. But just right down there, probably about where those trees are, just right down here on the road, uh, is where that big boy come across the road that night. And uh, I never seen him, but my father-in-law he said he was. It beast. He he doesn't never get excited like that much. Uh, I, we was down on the river, and uh, man, it, I don't know if you've ever heard a heard of cattle or buffalo or something like that, and the ground almost seemed like it's shaking. But there were so many hogs. The dogs was running them hogs by us. And that's the way it felt. I mean, big, big hogs. And uh, you get down there, there's groups, you know, two, three hundred. Uh, and, you know, I've trapped all down in there and we've caught, we, we, he was trapping down there until he had to restart his cancer treatment. And uh, we've just kind of shut those traps down because it's so far for me to go right now. Uh, I've been lazy. <laughs> Uh, last few years, I would make it a loop down there, man. I would. It, it was nothing to put 70 plus miles, you know, a day on my truck, just just checking traps. Uh, and and back right through there, I was probably putting like 100 plus all of those days, cause man, I like when I was rolling over Comanche or not Comanche, but towards uh, Loco and all down in there. Uh, man, it's that's a drive over there and then doing that before work every morning Because uh, in the summertime you got to get on them with that one place over there uh, I went over there for two weeks I think caught like 75 and He called me back a little bit later and, and I caught like 75 more. I caught 150 something hogs over there in, in one month. Uh, he said he said he'd be plowing. He'd kick his tractor door open and shoot at them. <laughs> so by the time he got back around, they'd be right back in his field. <laughs> so I went over there and I set up some big traps. I had a whole bunch of box traps and uh, uh, a big uh, corral trap. And one morning I went over and that corral trap was full. And uh, I drove to the other side of the field. I picked up pigs in, in little box traps. And uh, while I was over there, 
I could see barely see that trap, but I could see something over walking around. I got over there and it was full of pigs again. <laughs> so just right, I mean, just within 15 minutes, they already was back in that trap, you know, some more. So, you know, you got people tell me all the time, and different pigs are different in different areas and different groups. It's just like people, you know, and depends on how much they've been messed with. Uh, and how far they got to go from this, from cover to food source and all that. But uh, people always tell me, you know, oh, you can't get, once you catch a, even the state guys go to them meetings, oh, once you catch one pig in one of them little box traps, it chases all the other ones away and you'll never catch another one. And man, we have caught so many pigs in those little box traps. I'm gonna say, Really, I probably catch about as many in those as I do my camera traps because when I've got them all set and running, because you will catch groups in those, uh, what am I trying to say, those big traps like that, but you don't catch a group every night. You know what I mean? It may be a week between each catch sometimes sometimes you'll catch you know nightly but you know like box traps you'll catch almost every night in in some of your box traps and uh because you're not catching the whole group so you're catching individuals of course or two or three or whatever it is but uh it's it's steady whereas you know your your big camera traps stuff like that you'll set those up and and you'll you may catch the whole group or a partial group but, uh, so you're not going to catch every night like that. If that makes sense, I don't know. I'm just rambling. I'm tired this morning and fixing to go to work. Hope y'all having a great day. Uh, May 22nd. Uh, today's my birthday. My wife, she surprised me, uh, what day was it? Saturday or Sunday at our favorite Mexican eating place, a uh, solace restaurant in Lawton. If you ever go through there, it's one of those places that if you like it, you really like it. And if you don't, you don't. It's kind of like barbecue places, you know. Yeah, there's a, they're all different, and some people really like them, some people don't. And uh, I, I like it. They got really super thin chips most of the time. They've had a new owner now, I think. And uh, the chips have got a little thicker. I wish they would go back to the real thin ones. Uh, and they'd be thin and hot and the cheese dip and just good. I mean, good. And uh, anyway, I'm just rambling on again. We gotta take pigs tonight. Maybe I'll get some video of that, I hope. I, I screwed up my video this morning. I, I hit record on my little camera that I wear on my head well I guess it had went to picture instead of video so I got one picture <laughs> when I was pulling into the field but I didn't get the video so this is just a rambling video maybe I do have three three back there but uh, nice little sound two little guys so I think the other day I had 29 So it would be 32. I think I'm gonna have 32. No, 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 39. Is that right? I'll have to look again. It may be 39, 40, 42. It's either 32 or 42. <laughs> anyway, appreciate you guys. Uh, like and subscribe if you would, and share the videos. And I appreciate all the kind comments. Uh, all, all the people that's been here from the start uh, I, I can't think of all the names and all the channel names or whatever right now but y'all guys know who y'all are and I, I appreciate it uh, all the people that uh, say where they're from that's pretty neat uh, like, uh, I'm just gonna name a couple off my head Boston uh, Tennessee Australia, uh, um, my gosh, 
Venezuela maybe, I, I don't know, all, all over the world, it's pretty cool that, uh, you know, it reaches out to that many places, that's just pretty neat, and uh, just hope you enjoy, I, I'll try to get some more stuff, I'm going to try to put some stuff together, I got a little bit of video about my, turn down my house, you know, I've got it all tore down, now I'm hauling in a little bit of dirt, put it in there. And, uh, sorry, I was watching that car. And, uh, anyway, I'm gonna get off here. Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe. And we'll get to try to get some stuff for tonight. Okay, guys, we're gonna load out some hogs here in my big trailer. Take them to the sale. It's a dusty dude right here. Let's see if we can get them all in here. I'm gonna try a little different this time. There they go. See if they'll all go in there. Oh no, they all gotta turn around. Of course. Let's see if I can get over that and give me a little more. Give me a little more uh, slack in my cord here. Oh man. It's been a long day. Let's see. I can hook this on something. They might hook right on there. Huh? Let's see if it'll hook right there. Okay, guys, come on. Come on, guys. Let's get on around there. There you go. There you go. Shh. There you go. Come on, babies. Look pretty now. Get that old boy right there, boy. He's a nice old boy. Hey. Shh. Go back the other way. Hey. Come on, guys. There you go. Yep, there you go. All right, let's see if we can get them. Yeah. See if I got them right there. I hope so. I think I got them. Yeah, should be. All right, now I'm going to try doing that off over in here. I think a little bit different than the way I usually do it. The wheat kind of stinky. Okay, guys, calm down, calm down. Most of them act like they're wanting to go in there. I gotta put this down so they can't go back in there. Okay, now get this gate right here. I'll get organized here. I'm gonna try this a little bit different than I usually do. Let's see if this will work. I usually just go to the back, and a lot of times they don't go through, and I have to crawl over in here anyway. So I'm gonna try to just do that from the start. See if my doors and all stay up good like they should. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. What's a happening? See if these guys will just go right on in there. I always have fear of them jumping over this middle fence. Was, uh... Come on guys. Because they get over that, they would be in here with me. So we'll see what we can do here, if we can ease them up there. Ah, I don't have a ladder on the inside, of course. Our pigs would probably climb in if they did. Hey guys, come on. Shh, come on. Shh, come on. This might work better. Do it this way every time. Come on, guys. There you go. There you go. Looky there. Now I just gotta get out there. I'm gonna hit my head on this stupid beam up here, like I usually do. Probably got pig poo all over me now, but that may have worked. I'm gonna get my gate shut on my trailer up here. Doggy, got him in there. 
What is uh, Rock Hill Farm always says? Uh, she's a beaut, Clark. <laughs> yes, she is. Bang my head on this thing. And they all want to run one in. They're right up on top of each other. Guys, that went pretty smooth. We're gonna head over to the ranch, dump these out, and somebody will have my fun, fun weekend this weekend, I guess. Uh, I'll pull this thing up and then I'll tie that gate down. It's done load. This is a beautiful place. Big high fence. Probably some more like a golf course than a hunting ranch. It's beautiful. Head for the pond. night we just got back from taking hogs to hunt ranch there's a it's a full moon i don't know if you can see that moon very good it is so beautiful tonight that light is coming off there kind of weird anyway i'm dropping off my trailer we just got back fixing to unhook it another long night another long day maybe my hog trap will be going off here in a little bit we'll get some tonight it's nice and cool right now. Got us an uh, empty pen over here right now, and then uh, we'll see what happens. Pray we don't get no storms. But, uh, anyway, just thought that moon looked beautiful. There's clouds going across it there now. Uh, this video just doesn't do it any justice at all. It's just, it's just awesome looking. Uh, it almost looks like the sun, don't it? <laughs> Make the reflection of it, I know, but look how perfectly round it is tonight. Pretty cool. The way them clouds are around it makes it think of the werewolves or something. <laughs> oh man, y'all have a great night and a great week. And maybe we'll see you at Hog Trap in the morning. Like and subscribe, guys. Appreciate y'all.